Oh, there we go, yes! Ah. Come on. Come around, Diesel Way. Please and thank you. That's what we're talking about. Double rig and awesome speckle trout, baby. Oh. Now, if you are a returning viewer, hey, welcome back, glad to have you. But if you are new to this channel, know that I do all things inshore fishing here in South Louisiana. If that's something you like, please consider subscribing. What we're doing today is we're looking to catch a limited speckled trout. I had already launched out of uh, Port Sulphur behind the schoolhouse there. The wind's forecasted to be calm. And as you can see, you know, out everywhere around here, it, it is calm. It's absolutely beautiful out. We got a rising tide all day long, something with a tide range of like a foot and a half and it's supposed to top out at like 2 p.m. So we've already got some birds working over here. We're in a tide line. The water, as, as best as I can tell, being as early as it is, looks pretty good. I think we can probably get on some speckled trout starting right here, right now. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a popping cork. This is just a four horseman popping cork with a Berkeley rattle shrimp and coastal candy underneath it. This is a closer look at the bait I'm using. This is a Berkeley rattle shrimp and coastal candy. And as you can see, it's already chewed up because it's been catching fish. This is classic inshore fishing 101 stuff I'm doing here. I'm finding tide lines that I know brown shrimp are gonna be running down, or at least I, I think they could be running down. Dude, this is some of the easiest speckled trout fishing you can do. <laughs> First cast, skunk is out of the boat. Nice keeper speckle trout. I don't think we're gonna catch hammers today, but we're, 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 here, to, we're, we're here to catch nice filet size speckle trout. So that's speckle trout number one. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, but I don't know if this guy will keep. I mean, he might. There's definitely going to be a lot of throwback. Let's see. Boom. And he does. Up here is where I need to go. Look at this. Yeah, you can see those birds diving around, just showing interest in the water. That's good. Look at this speckled trout chasing the shrub. Okay, I can't take it anymore. I got to cast at it. I saw a trout jumping out the water. What I like about using the bait casters, I can just cast out to where I see the shrimp being chased and just get right to the fish. Not have to mess around the clunky, uh, clunky cork and moving at the quickness here is going to be key because there's these, as you can see, you know, I'm catching so many throwbacks. Look at that shrimp go. But dude, if we just keep catching these throwbacks, I mean, and that's all we do. Like it's not some semblance of a keeper, you know, ratio keepers or anything, then I'm just gonna have to bounce. Dude, like what's up with this guy? Like, come on, man. You really gotta run right down the middle of this stuff like that? This guy has the entire Gulf of Mexico that he could use, but he's gotta do that instead. guy might keep yeah this, this guy will do bam keeper number three what makes this exciting for me is just all the action that's going on around me otherwise if it all this wasn't going on I'd be like, eh. oh, another little dingleberry fish man okay I'm gonna pick up that double rig and toss that real quick like There we go, there's that second fish. 
When you're fishing a double rig, you feel that first fish bite. You don't want to just start reeling in like a crazy person. You want to let that second fish get on there. There we go. The second fish might be a keeper. Boom. Welcome to the club, buddy. This guy, not so much. Here we go, it's a better trout. At least he seems like it. All right, as long as we're, we keep catching keepers like this guy, we're gonna double check him. And yes, sir, he's a keeper. As long as we ca keep catching keepers like this, we will keep casting. Right away, I love this every cast action. I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Just wish the fish were a little bit bigger. That guy, he'll do. And boom, let me tell you all the secret here. It's not messing with the fish. It's not taking pictures. It's not doing anything but getting that bait back out there. Oh man, something came. I think I had a, I think I had a liter line break there. That's okay, I'll just retie real fast. I know people get a little butt hurt just watching fish get tossed on the floor like that, but know your place in the food chain and toughen up buttercup. It's just inshore fishing. Trout number six. Ooh. Okay, the trout, trout action is getting better. There we go. Okay, so one's the throwback. But this other one is a nice speckle trout. You know what's cool? This is that custom collar I ordered from Cajun Lures. That's pretty neat. Trout number seven. Oh, there we go, yes! Ah. Two nice gentlemen in that boat over there and every time I start going, oh, they, they both look over their shoulder. Just look at me like I'm crazy. They probably think I'm talking to myself, which I am. Come on, stay away. Why, why, why must you run towards the propeller? Come around this way. Please and thank you. That's what we're talking about. Double rig and awesome speckled trout, baby. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so that's number eight. That's number nine. Get back out there. Don't worry about wiping slime off your hand or anything. Just get out there as fast as you can. Nice. Ooh, that's what we want. Bam. Nice keepers. Right away. This cannot be a speckled trout. There's just no way this is a trout. Uh, no, one fish is just foul hooked. I do have two fish, one is just foul hooked though. So I'll do it. Oh, oh, the other one came off. I did not mean for that to happen. Okay, speckle trout number 10. Speckle trout number 11. Yeah, they just boated some nice trouts. So that's a good sign. Oh my gosh. Double rig madness. Uh, there's a dolphin over there and he needs to stop doing what he's doing, which is haranding my speckled trout. He's too close. He's like, that trout was right at 12 and I just can't, really just can't take a chance at fish like that because they, they'll shrink in the cooler a little bit. If I do get stopped by wildlife, I just don't need that headline, you know, Captain Devin of LFB keeping illegal size speckled trout. Okay, what, what am I at, 12 right now? Dude, I, I'm gonna have to recount again once I get close to 25 just to be safe. If I do, you know, I mean, this can shut off at any time because these dolphins are moving in. All right, 
And you really don't need a rear back on fish like this, man. It's not like jigging. We gotta take the slack out of the line. They just kind of impale themselves. Yes, oh, they, they both are, are close. If they are 12, they're close. Man, nope, nope. Bam, right, right away, okay. So, come on, we need keepers. Ooh, that feels a little bit better. That feels a little bit better. Ooh. Nice, yes. Bam, that's a nice trout. There we go, there's a fish. I don't know if it's a keeper, but it's a fish. Oh yeah, that, that guy ought to keep. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is a kepper. All right, so we got 15 speckled trout in the box so far. Not a bad start, but I don't think that spot's gonna give up another 10 and daylight's burning. This this speckled trout bite is not going to last all day. It's not going to last forever. So we need to go find more of that. And uh, I'm just kind of ready to go uh, see new stuff. Let's go ahead and get moving and let's see what we can't get into. Bam. And we're here. We're at the uh, Fushan Barge Rock Thingamajiggies. And we're going to give these things a whack. Let me tell you all something. The water here looks freaking awesome. Let's get in here, baby. Let's do this. Now I kind of got a little love-hate thing. Oh man, there's a boat over there. Damn it, that's where I wanted to fish. Uh, there's boats everywhere. Oh, there we go. What I'm hoping is that the speckled trout just aren't stacked up in one spot. This is a nice trout. What I'm hoping is that speckled trout just aren't stacked up in one spot. Um, well, I hope they're stacked up in this spot. Dude, it's like a freaking catch of fish and a boat appears. That's a nice one, it's a 17 inch trout, guys. That's trout number 16. Boom. Man, that was a nice, that was a nice speckled trout. I can catch some more of those. Man, dude, it really hurts to pull up and whack a nice trout like that and then not catch any more. What in the hell? So I'm hung up and I'm sitting here twitching my line so I can see where I'm hung up at to try and get unhung up. And something came up and struck at where that line's popping on the water and it sounded like a trout. I didn't get a good look at it. But it had that, like a trout hitting top water. What in the hell was that? Something, I watched something just come fly out, wham, and just T-bone that matrix shed. And it looked like a trout, honestly. But he just barely mouthed it. I was trying to get them to do it again. There's fish down there. Man, I'm gonna work this rock pile. There's fish down there. And I just got a little nippy nip again. I know what works for nippy nips. A little bit of stank. Got to get the stank on this lure. I just saw two speckled trout chasing this bait. 
I saw them. I saw them like you see goldfish at the aquarium at freaking Walmart. I'm not going anywhere. And I, I'm seeing fish everywhere on the fish finder. On the fish finder. Guys, these are the epitome of finicky fish. Boy, I said it over there. I was like, man, it's almost like, dude, another one just, just chased it, just followed it. But I said it over there. I was like, man, something popped that top, that little, something popped the fish in line. And anything that does that, there we go, is hungry and is there. But they're being finicky. That's what's going on. Oh, we're gonna do this. We are, I'm in my little playground right now, boys and girls. It's like, you see all those little, all those little shadows and whatnot? Those are all speckled trout. They are here. There he is. I'm just letting him sit on it. All the fish I saw were, they're all this size or bigger. Boop. These are not fish you catch on a popping court. These are fish you catch by paying attention and no one had to throw artificial lures. This is a nice trout. Fish a trout, it's a nice one. Yeah. Just trying to be quiet about this and not alert those boats. Not alert those other boats to what's going on because there's a bunch of fish down there. Yeah, just slime up my... And see, I hooked him in the side of the face. That's a finicky fish. Where's that clicker at? And clicker says that's speckle trout number 19, but I'm not so sure. Dude. Again, just trying to keep a low profile here because, oh my God, guys. I watched, I watched five to 10 speckle trout swimming with that one. I'm freaking out right now. I am losing my freaking mind. And I'm right next to all these other boats. I can't start screaming. I can't, I want to, but I can't. God, I, I, I saw a whole school swimming with him fighting to get that bait. Oh, getting bit, there we go. There he is, oh my gosh. I can see them fighting over it. I wish I had like a underwater camera guy with me right now because the, the camera footage I would get would just be insane. There we go. Oh man, this is a trout, it's a nice one. Take it easy, girl. Yeah, it's a nicer trout. She's 20 inches, I'm throwing her back. I'm not sure that she is though. Boy, that's a speckle trout right there. Yeah, she's over the 18 inch mark, so I'm actually gonna let her go. She's close to being funny. There you go, girl. See, note what, what happened here. All right. The fish were being finicky, didn't really want to bite. But as soon as one bite started going crazy, it's like it turned on the school and they all started going crazy. They're very competitive feeders. I got the bite fired up, so I'm hoping to get back on it. I'm sure they're still swimming out there. And I know that there's more, so I freaking saw them. I looked at him. I was like, there he is. Remember, when you're reeling that bait back in, be looking at it. Make sure you're looking at it because there might be a fish following it. And, and I'm telling you, if, if I didn't see that following fish, if I didn't see that following fish, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have stayed and worked it.
I don't know what they're eating. It seems like to me they're definitely moving around. And I'm moving around, they're moving around. This is making us tough. Here we go. Got him, I knew you were there. Speckled trout 23. I think that clicker's off though. I have reason to believe it's off. Jumping out the water like a friggin' bass. Bam, baby. Oh. Speckle trap 24. All right, let me, let me count up fish and just see what it is I'm fishing for right now. Okay, 23 fish total. 23 fish, so we need two more fish. So what I'm gonna do is sit here and try and make this work. I'll drop a waypoint on it right now. Boop. So I have my waypoint, so there's no way I can forget this one. Oh, nope, I ain't going nowhere now. And uh, I'll work this and if it don't work out, then what I can do is go and fish all these other rock piles that look just like it. <clears throat> yeah, I got hit there. It wasn't like a tap bite. It was like a, you just kind of mouthed it and ran with it kind of bite, but it's a bite. Yeah, there we go. Come on, let's just get this done. If I get this done, I can go get back home and maybe go fish triple tail with Adam. Come on, speckle trout number 24, get in there. Man, I don't see shadows anymore. There we go on the retrieve, baby. Uh-oh, but he may not be 12 inches. Well, this speckle trout be 12 inches. I don't know. Let's find out. There we go. If you'd like to learn more about finding speckled trout, catching them, catching great boxes, even limits of speckled trout from scratch, 100% on your own, then you really need to consider taking a look at my special membership meant for learning how to do exactly those things. And that special membership is called LAFB Elite. Guys, it costs less than a fishing rod. Check the video description below for a link taking you to an information page where you can learn more about the benefits of membership or visit lafbelite.com slash join. If you're looking for speckled trout fishing reports then check out LAFB Inshore on Facebook. And remember that it's not the most recent fishing reports that count, but the fishing reports that happened during that time of the year. So check out last year's fishing reports too. If you'd like to, you can follow me on Instagram. It's there where I post pictures and videos of what it is I'm up to and you can stay abreast of what's going on with LAFB. Also consider signing up to my newsletter. It's a great way to get more fishing tips. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know when the next one goes live, then all you gotta do is subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and tight lines. Mm -hmm.